Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Manor with Apostle Juliana. Jesus is Lord. What a morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and surely you and I will be glad and rejoice in it. Yes, we are on our day five. Wow, wow, the pastors are pushing. What a wonderful session with, uh, with Pastor Alvin last night. I also encourage you, join us in prayer. The Bible tells us men ought to pray and not to faint. It is not your portion to pray, to faint, but to pray, to seek God with others. Yes, as Ezra said, we declare a fast for us and our children, yes, and our position to seek the way we could go. In seasons of prayer and pastors, I mean, prayer and fasting, God tells us the way we must go. God tells us the next level. God whispers strategies, so don't be left behind. Your prayer has to be effective. Why don't we bow our heads in prayer? Father, we thank you for this morning, this wonderful morning. We say thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Father, thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for the good things you are doing in our lives. Thank you for those you are still to do. Father, thank you for the closed doors which you closed it so that better things will come our way say thank you father thank you for the doors you open we say thank you father thank you lord just for the privilege to be called the children of god now we are the children of god partakers and participators of your divine natures co-heirs with christ jesus we say thank you yes for our sins are forgiven we say thank you for the remission of sin we say thank you for being translated from the kingdom of darkness to your marvelous light we say thank you Oh, good morning, saints. Let's just go together to the word of God. Today I said your prayer must be effective or the effectual prayer. It is your duty. It is my duty to guard my prayer life jealously so that it could be effective. I want us to go to James chapter 5 verse 16. Glory to Jesus. I'm going to read quite a number of versions. King James says, King James says they confess your transgressions one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man prevaileth much. Effective and fervent prayer. Let's go to NIV. It says, hallelujah. I'll just read the bottom part. The righteous, the prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. The prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. I want us to go, you know, you know, you know, to James chapter 5, verse 16, TLB. TLB, the Bible tells us the earnest prayer of a righteous man has great power. Hallelujah. And wonderful results. Huh? The great prayer of a result of a, of a righteous man has great power and wonderful results. Results, hallelujah. I want to go to NASU version. It says, the effective prayer of a righteous man, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, accomplishes much. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. It accomplishes much. Thank you, men of God. What are we saying? Today, we've been told about different effects, different interpretation of an effective prayer. Number one, an effective prayer, it accomplished much. As we go to the place of prayer, as we go to seek God, we want our prayers to be effective. This morning, we want to say, Lord, we want ability, we want capability that our prayers can be effective. Number two, we say that, you know, the effective, I mean, I mean, the effectual prayer is powerful. It's powerful and effective. Power, it carries dynamo, it carries power. The God given ability to change situations, to heal the sick, to cast out demon, demons, to make ways where there's no way. So the effective prayer has got great results. Hallelujah. The great, the effective prayer, you know, availeth much. There's much you want to be done as we pray. And as we pray effectively, our prayers will avail much. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So today, my encouragement, my exaltation is that our prayers have to be effective. My exaltation is that we have to give ourselves to prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. It is important for you and for me to make sure that we make prayer, you know, important. Number one, prayer is a vital key to connect us to the Heavenly Father. There's that connection 
that communion which we need con continually. That's why when the benediction is said, said, may the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. God wants us to be in all continuous communion with him. The Bible says, do not grieve ye the Holy Spirit which is in you. So what am I saying this morning? The, you know, the Bible also says, don't you know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit that abides in you? So how do you come in with the Holy Spirit? Through prayer. So it is important that we have to know that prayer is a privilege and it's a responsibility. One thing which I want to leave with you this morning, prayer is a privilege and a responsibility. A privilege you enjoy. A, represent, a responsibility you have to be disciplined. A responsibility you need to exert yourself. You need to set yourself on it. So for you to make sure that your prayer is effective, you must know that it is an awesome responsibility. There are things we have to take into consideration. There are things you have to put together. Today, if you're under the sound of my voice, I want you to say, to take it upon you that I need my prayer to be effective and it's my own responsibility. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. It moves things around for us. It moves. It makes God's hand move in our situation. The Bible says he watches over his word to perform it. And the Bible says, call unto me and I'll answer and I'll show you great and mighty things which you know not. But it's a responsibility. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If we pour our hearts to God, he will answer us. The psalmist says, I lift up my eyes unto the hills. For where do my help cometh from? My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Why I'm saying this, I'm saying prayer and effectual prayer will make cause God to come in the situation. But we have to take the responsibility that it has to be effectual. It has to be effective. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So this morning, I want to encourage you that we have to work that our prayers become effectual. Hallelujah. Prayer is we have to make sure that we prepare our place of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We mustn't take prayer for granted. For our prayers to be effectual, we have to prepare for them. For, for our prayers to be to be effectual, we have to be conscious when you are in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. We have talked about some things which can affect and hinder prayers. We talked about tiredness. We, I talked a lot of things. But today, I'm going to talk about more things because we desire, go desire that we offer effectual prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't want to shrink back. We want to be effective. Hallelujah. We want to be effective in the kingdom. How does the effectiveness come? It comes through when our, our prayers are effective. And prayer is one thing which God chose for us to have victory. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The disciples were told, tarry ye until we are endured with power. One sign of effective prayer is tarrying. We have to be comfortable in the presence of God. The book of Acts tells us, Pastor, if you can get that scripture, the good book of Acts tells us that when they had tarried, they were in one accord. They tarried. They were together in the upper room. They were together for some time. They continued with one accord in prayer. One accord in prayer. Effectual prayer. One accord. I told things about disorder. I mean, disorder among brethren, which will affect you. You know, in your prayer, if you are not united, put back the scripture, men of God, thank you. They were in one accord and in prayer and supplication with the woman, Mary, the mother of Jesus and with his brother. They were together. One accord. And I want you to take note of the word continued with one accord in prayer. Continued in one accord in prayer. There was continuous. It was not a hit and run. They were waiting. They tarried. They waited. As they were told, when before the Lord Jesus Christ departed, he said, tarry ye, you know, into Jerusalem until we are endured with power. When they were in one accord, what happened? The Holy Spirit came. There was a visitation. Their prayer was effectual. Their next level was launched. Their ministry had never become again, the same again. Today, if you are under the sound of my voice, 
I want to encourage you. I want you to know that you have to tarry in the place of prayer. You have to give it time. We have to be comfortable in the, term, in the place of prayer. We mustn't be like patients when they are admitted. If they are well, they run away from the hospital. Their beds are cleaned. In the place of prayer, it's your permanent place. It's your permanent seat. You have to be continuously there so that your prayers can be effective. So that your prayers can yield results. Hallelujah. No one goes to the labor ward in a hurry. In the same way, in the place of prayer, we have to turn until we get the answer. You know, like Elijah. What did Elijah do? He tarried. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to the book of Kings where it talks about Elijah. And let's start from the book of James. It talks about you know, Elijah, a man. You know, you know, a man with, I mean, with, 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 a man like us. Hallelujah. What did he do? He prayed. The Bible says, confess your transport. You know, it says, Elijah, a man with a nature, with a nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months hallelujah glory to jesus the next prayer scripture hallelujah and he prayed again that the heaven give rain and the earth produce its fruit effective and fervent prayer he prayed and rain came he prayed and there was no rain hallelujah what am i saying the prayer was effective if we go to the old testament elijah was a, prayed for this and a breakthrough come. What am I saying this morning? There's a need for us to know that when we go to the place of prayer, it's a place of responsibility. We go there to come with results. The Bible tells us he watches over his way to perform it. My challenge to you, whenever we go in the place of God, carry the seed to plant the seed of the word of God so that God has got something to watch over carry the seed of God speak the word of God to him the Bible tells us that he watches over his word to perform it his word will never return unto him void so when we are praying it's good to cry it's good to say other things but God watches over his word to perform it the angels in action are waiting for you to release a word concerning those finances concerning that marriage concerning the work of the ministry what does the word say concerning your situation say it in prayer talk it in prayer the angels they understand the word of god better they understand the action they get when the word is released in the place of prayer so for our if prayers to be effective we must send them with the word of god hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus hallelujah Glory to Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Fervency, fervency, fervency. You know, when Peter was in prison waiting for execution, what did the brethren do? They prayed, they prayed, they tarried together. If you can get that scripture, Pastor, for me. They tarried together. They were in one accord. They tarried together. They were praying together. Hallelujah. They were tarried, they were praying. They were tearing. They were praying. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The church prayed. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. The eight church prayed. The church prayed. Today, if you're under the sound of my voice, hallelujah. Peter was therefore kept in prison. But constant prayer, constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. Constant prayer, continuous prayer, hallelujah. They wanted to e execute him. You know, the other apostles have already been executed. Hallelujah. Stephen was already executed. But constant prayer was offered, hallelujah. Let's go on, men of God, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And when Herod was about to, to bring him out, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with chains. You know, chains, with chains, with two chains between soldiers. And they cut, therefore, before the door were, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Hallelujah. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him. Prayer was being launched for him for day continuously while he was in prison. But the Bible tells us just before execution, the Bible says, Behold, an angel of the Lord stood before him and light shone in the prison. And he stuck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And the chain fell on his hand. Effectual prayer. 
Today, if you are under the sound of my voice, we want to pray effective prayer, which breaks chains, effective prayer, which changes position, effective prayer, which cancels the death sentences. Hallelujah. Let's go on, Pastor. Let's go on, Pastor. The next scripture. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, behold, and glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. The next scripture. Then the angel of the Lord told him to give, he says, give yourself and tie your sandals. And he said, and he did. And he said to him, put on your garment and follow me. Let's go on. Hallelujah. So he went out and followed him and did not know that that was done by an angel. Was you, but thought he was seeing a vision. Let's go on. Hallelujah. When they had passed the first and the second guard posse, they came out of the iron gate and led in the city with opened them into 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 its own accord and they went out and went down to the street and immediately the angel departed today effectual prayer which you send angels which you send angel aid on your way today we want to say lord help us to have effectual prayers in our lives hallelujah let us go to the next scripture hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. And Peter came to him. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Glory to Jesus. But what I wanted to emphasize is, you know, the effectual prayer brings result. It will redeem people from death. It will redeem people from destruction. Today I say that is your portion. That is my portion to be redeemed from death. To be redeemed from the hands of the enemy through prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Effectual prayer divides the sea. Effectual prayer makes things happen. Effectual prayer. You know, which was off. Effectual prayer is effective. <laughs> that's, that's what I want to say. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It comes the sea. The raging sea. The Lord Jesus Christ says, peace be still. And there was stillness. Today, if you are under the sound of my voice, I want to encourage you that God help us, that we offer effectual prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to Daniel chapter 9 verse 3. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me put verse 2. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the books, the member of the number of the year, specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet, that he stood, accomplished 70 years in the dissolution of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Then I set my face towards the Lord God. To make a request by prayer and supplication with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. He set himself to prayer with sackcloth for the deliverance of Jerusalem. What am I trying to say? Because of what time? We could read until verse 17. I just want to say he sought God. He had a seeking of God for the plan of the people for the plan you know of his people what am i saying it is important for us eh, as believers eh, that we set ourselves with time we give ourselves time that we can seek god for particular things in our lives and god is a faithful god god is a god who answers eh. god is a god who give us breakthrough god is a god who give us the next level you can say as a believer i don't know what i should do i don't know my next level they just fired me i'll be no one my children are like this you have to go and seek god and hear god and every work from god concerning your situation God is ready to speak to you. God is ready, ready to speak to me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The other thing which we need to deal with in the place of prayer is wandering thoughts. We have to deal with wandering thoughts in the place of prayer. We have to engage. We can't have wandering thoughts. Let's go to Job chapter 11 verse 13. We have to deal with wandering thoughts. Glory to Jesus. If you would prepare your heart and stretch your head, prepare your heart and stretch your hands towards him prepare your hearts so when we are praying we have to say lord help me that i can do with wandering thoughts thank you pastor wandering thoughts things which easily distract us we live 
in a time with gadgets. Gadgets can remove our effective in prayer, effectiveness in prayer. You know, you've got one gadget here, another gadget there. It's time for prayer so that, you know, your attention to God is divided. But we want to say, God, help us that we might make sure that, you know, we remove distraction in the place of prayer. You can't go to an interview with your boss and start to answer calls or do other things we want to say lord help us when it's a time of prayer let's leave distraction so that we can be totally focused on you oh glory to jesus god wants us to offer you know effective prayer and we must make prayer and a priority let's go to ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 we have to make sure that prayer is a priority in our lives hallelujah ephesians chapter 6 it says praying always Hallelujah. Make prayer, and, uh, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to the end, persevering and supplication for all saints. Hallelujah. I want you to put TPT version for me. Praying always, always being prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you can't get it, okay. Thank you, Pastor. Praying always. Hallelujah. With all prayer, just put, you know, you know, just put amplified version for me. Man of God, glory to Jesus. Amen. It says, praying at all times on every occasion, in every season. <clears throat> effective prayer to life, effective prayer life and fervent life. Praying all the time, number one. All occasion, every season. I want to leave something with you today. Number one, when there's a party, pray. When there's a wedding, pray. When you've got things in, when you've got money in your pocket, pray. When you don't have money in your pocket, pray. On your wedding day, pray. On your funeral, pray. When there's breakthrough, pray. Pray always. In the morning, pray. When things are happening, pray. When visitors come, pray. There are some tired people, when it's December, they no longer pray, it's holiday. There's no holiday in prayer. And effective prayer lives must be continuous. A continual, effectual prayer life. May there be continuity in our prayer lives. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Put back the same scripture, men of God, amplified. Hallelujah. Pray all the time. Honeymoon time, pray. There are people who drowned in the sea during honeymoon. Hallelujah. When there's a prom promotion, you have got a new car, pray. There are people who have run on people's lives on a, with, them going on the, you know, with their new car. On your wedding day, pray. Pray always, every occasion, every season, in the spirit, with all men of prayers and, and, and entreaty. That to, to that end, keep Alert and watch with strong purpose and perseverance. Keep alert, watch with strong purpose and perseverance. In the city, on behalf of the saint, God's concert people. Thank you. So for our prayers, we need to pray always. Not today, we pray today. Tomorrow we don't. We jump tomorrow. We have to make sure that we always put ourselves in prayer. Hallelujah. If we go to Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Matthew 26, verse 41. Glory to Jesus. Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. I said effectiveness in prayer, thank you, men of God, can be taken by tiredness. You go, you feel there's an edge to pray for a brother, to pray for a sister. sister. You've got a burden for somebody. If you're just tired, you don't pray. You know, you can save a life through your prayer. You can deliver a life through your prayer. God can tell you what to do through your prayer. But today I want to encourage you that we have to pray always. We mustn't slumber in the place of prayer so that our prayer lives can be effective, so that our prayer lives can be powerful, so that our prayer lives can yield results. Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalms 46, verse 10. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Psalms 46, verse 10. But be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nation. I'll be exalted among the earth. Thank you. Be still. I said, let's deal with interruption in the place of prayer. Elijah was praying and he was sent his servant. His head was between his knees. He concentrated. Sometimes switch, remove the headphones. 
sometimes remove the phone because the phone now things will start to just to pop up pop up you know you know be still and know that I'm the Lord I think this can be a great sermon in the world which you live in we can't march tasked with prayer may God help us that we must always be focused in the place of prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah glory to Jesus glory to Jesus let's be focused when you're praying Let's make sure you write our prayer points. Let's talk to God. Let's not be casual in the place of prayer. Jesus is our high priest. Let's make sure that we go there with petitions, you know, which are orderly to get well-timed help, appropriate help. No, let's not just wandering around in the presence of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Ecclesiastic chapter 5, verse 2. Ecclesiastic chapter 5, verse 2. Do not be rash with your mouth and let not your heart utter nothing hastily before God. What am I saying? Prepare. You are leading prayer. Hallelujah. Prepare. Let's put scripture down. down. What are we asking for? You can go through 50 days and you forget whatever you are going to be asking for. For God is in heaven and you are on earth. Therefore, let your words be few. I'm not saying don't pray. But make sure that when we are praying, let's be choosing what we pray. Let's not be wondering what am I focusing on today. What am I engaging on today? Where do I want God to put me? I mean, which position do I want, you know, you know, from the Lord? Is it healing? Whatever we are praying for, we have to be careful before God. Hallelujah. As I close, Psalms 32, verse 1 and 5. Glory to Jesus. Psalms 32, verse 1 and 5. It says, Blessed is he who, whose trans transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Thank God our sins are no longer covered. They were forgiven. Hallelujah. I acknowledge my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said I will confess my transgression to the Lord and you will forgive my iniquities of my sin. Selah. I will emphasize this and I emphasize this. There is a place to say forgive me Lord. Yes, tongue talking. Yes, spiritual, spirit filled. You can't cover your sins with speaking in tongues or crying. We have to make sure we repent before God. Today, I want to pray for you. Just say, Father, thank you. Yes, as we go into this season, as we go in our lives, may our prayers be effective. May our prayers be continual. May our prayers come before you. May we prepare ourselves as we go in the place of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for those under the sound of my voice. Another level of prayer, another level of seeking you, enjoying your fellowship, enjoying you know, being in your presence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you honor. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. Jesus is Lord. Amen. You are God, oh, oh, oh. We worship you. Only you are God in heaven and on earth. We worship you because you are God, oh. That is why we just because of the things you have done, oh, we worship because you are God. You are God, oh. We worship you. You are God, oh, oh. And we worship you. You are God, oh. And I worship you. Only you are God, oh. And I worship you in heaven, on earth, underneath the earth. Only you are God. No one compares, no one contested. Only you, only you are God. You are God. Oh. We worship, we worship you. You are God. Oh. We worship, we worship you. No one can contest it. No one can contest it. No one can contest it. You alone are God. You are. And we worship you. You are God. And we worship. Oh, you are God. You are God.